Child, not Beyonce's daddy Matthew Knowles pulling up on Jay-Z and exposing him. At this point, it's becoming crystal clear that there's some truth to the rumors about how Jay-Z is gonna get the Diddy treatment. Because Matthew Knowles is sending a very strong warning to Jay-Z not to take Beyonce down with him. Now, Jay-Z has fooled us for years now, but Matthew never fell for that charm because he's been trying to warn us for years about the type of person that Jay-Z really is. But we never really listened. Well, Matthew is officially back in the story and he's spilling all the tea on all the shady actions that Jay-Z has allegedly been carrying out in secret. And y'all need to sit down for this because Matthew came prepared to expose Jay-Z to the fullest. Did he just confirm those rumors of Jay-Z allegedly Beyonce? And did Jay-Z really force Beyonce to cut her father off? Chell, this whole story is wild and it gets even wilder. So it looks like every single person in the Knowles family wants Beyonce out of her marriage and away from Jay-Z because they're all taking steps to get her away from him. At first, we thought it was just Solange who was against the marriage, and some people even went as far as to call her a hater. But it turns out she is not the only one who wants Beyonce to get a divorce. Their dad, Matthew Knowles, also came out to give a very public warning to Jay-Z after the feds pulled up on him. And let's just say he is not gonna be getting any help or support from the Knowles family because they are not on his side. Now, y'all might be thinking the family switched up on Jay-Z. Now that he's in trouble, but in reality, that just couldn't be farther from the case. Because Matthew Knowles never liked Jay-Z in the first place. He never trusted Jay-Z with his daughter, even though he wasn't as loud with his dislike as Solange was. He still was dropping some pretty subtle hints, warning us about the type of person that Jay-Z really was. Before Jay-Z came into the picture, Beyonce and Matthew had a pretty decent relationship. He was the one who pushed her to pursue her dreams of being a star, and he registered her in shows and competitions from a very young age, even though she didn't always win. He was the one who put Destiny's Child together, and he had so much faith in the group that he even quit his job to manage the group full time. Y'all can say anything about Matthew, but one thing nobody can deny is that Destiny's Child owes a huge chunk of their success to him. When the group decided to go on a hiatus in the early 2000s, he immediately got Beyonce into the studio and dropped her debut solo album, Dangerously in Love. On the track, Daddy, Beyonce talked about the devotion and loyalty her father and manager Matthew Knowles has toward his family members. With that, you'd think that the relationship between them would be great forever, right? Well, not per se, because back in 2011, Beyonce announced that Matthew would no longer be managing her. Now, there was a lot of speculation about why Beyonce decided to part ways with him. One rumor even claimed that she found out Matthew had been stealing from her. But another rumor claimed that she was mad at him for cheating on her mom, Tina, and fathering another child outside of his marriage. However, Beyonce denied that there was ever any drama in the situation to fire her father. She released a statement that said, I've only parted ways with my father on a business level. He's my father for life, and I love my dad dearly. I am grateful for everything he has taught me. I grew up watching both he and my mother manage their own businesses. They were hardworking entrepreneurs and I will continue to follow in their footsteps. But this did not fly with a lot of people. And several insiders claim that the real reason Beyonce and Matthew have fallen out is because of Jay-Z, alleging that Jay-Z was very controlling of Beyonce and had come between her and her father. And it wasn't just a professional breakup like Beyonce had claimed, because Jay-Z also forced her to go very low contact with her father. This this became obvious when Beyonce didn't attend her father's wedding, claiming she had prior commitments. But people quickly saw through this BS excuse. However, Matthew still defended her by saying she's a very busy woman and that he's proud of her. At this point, Matthew's dislike of Jay-Z was becoming more obvious. For example, after Solange gave Jay-Z that whooping in the elevator, Beyonce and Jay-Z released a statement that said, the most important thing is that our family has worked through it. Jay and Solange each assume their share of the responsibility for what occurred. They've both acknowledged their role in this process 
private matter that has played out in the public. They've both apologized to each other, and we've moved forward as a united family. They ain't say too much more than that, but Matthew then went on to the Wendy Williams show, and he spoke about how he found it hilarious. Yeah. Um, Beyonce's a very, very private person, though. Uh, when you saw Beyonce, Solange, and Jay-Z, and, and the security in the elevator thumping, what was your reaction to that? I, I have to tell you, I laughed so hard. <laughs> Be, I laughed so hard because, you know, if you know Solange, that's Solange. That's Solange. You just never know a what you're gonna cracker. get. Firecracker. Don't know where she get that from. Uh, <laughs> From there on, the power struggle between Jay-Z and Matthew was pretty clear, and people in their inner circle didn't even bother to deny it. According to an insider, Matthew never approved of the relationship between Beyonce and Jay-Z because of JD's shady past as a dealer. Also because of Jay-Z's very rough public image. So yeah, Matthew didn't think that Jay-Z was good enough for his precious daughter. And his concerns were hella valid because before we even knew what was going on, Jay-Z was trying to change everything about Beyonce, pushing her to have an edgier look and vibe. But Matthew immediately put his foot down on all of that. As the insider put it, Plus, it is well known that Hova wanted B to project an edgier image. Matthew objected. Did dad feel threatened? Almost certainly, on both a personal and professional level. Another insider claimed that Matthew even kicked against the marriage from the start, saying, it's not surprising that long before the couple was married, Matthew went on record saying he wasn't fond of the rapper. No, he didn't want to spend time with the guy. He reportedly said, I don't care for him at all. No, I'm not close to him. He's not somebody I like to spend time with. Well, that's pretty clear. At the time, people thought that Matthew was just being judgmental by holding Jay-Z's past against him. But fast forward a couple years, and it looks like he has the right to be worried. Because word on the street is, Jay-Z has allegedly been manipulating Beyonce with dr Jaguar Wright, who used to be a backup singer for Jay-Z, has also confirmed these allegations, saying that Jay-Z was super obsessed with dominating Beyonce. Why, why has Jay-Z been coming up with you lately? Because he's a monster. He's a monster. And I've known he's a monster for years. Mm -hmm. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a character. Uh, uh, no, girl. <laughs> Not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce. She went on to draw comparisons between Beyonce's situation and Jay-Z, saying that Beyonce was in a really tough place. Five, I tell you this right now. Y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce is free. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Oh, God, no. If Beyonce is in prison, she's in one of the most expensive prisons ever. Yes, she is. And she's watched 24 hours a day. She's not allowed to make a choice for herself, not at all, not in any way. Oh. People think she has an amazing life. She is told what to say. She is told what to eat. She is told what to drink. She is told what to wear. By she, is not, she is not her husband's wife. She is his employee. But even with that, Matthew never stopped singing Beyonce's praise. And when she broke the Grammy record, he wrote Beyonce a public note saying, Beyonce, I'm so incredibly proud of you. Ever since you were a young child, you wanted to make a worldwide impact in music. You had a dream and the work ethic to make it happen. And you did. And you continue to do so. Congratulations on your historic record breaking night. Love you. Even with that, Jay-Z still kept his control, and fans noticed something very weird at the Grammys last year when he looked mad after Beyonce refused to drink that he offered her. Until now, there was very little hope that Beyonce would break out of Jay-Z's control, but now that the fans are pulling up on him, Matthew was sending a very strong warning to let Beyonce go and not take her down with him, like Jay-Z is allegedly trying to do. Matthew wants his baby girl safe and protected, and he's gonna stop at nothing to make sure that happens. Now, as usual, people had a lot to say about this, and fans are here for Matthew speaking up for Beyonce. They said, Jaguar said it was plenty of times about Jay-Z having Beyonce 
hyped up. And she's not the only one speaking about it. And there's sometimes she looked high as F. Her music wasn't the same since her father stopped being her manager. And I don't know, but one thing, it's a fact that she's hiding from social media. Not only she doesn't give interviews, but really we don't know nothing about her for years. That tells you something. But now I wanna know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Matthew Knowles sending a very strong warning to Jay-Z? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.